In this video I'm going to show you how to isolate an object in Photoshop using the magnetic lasso tool and um, other tools to fine-tune that because the magnetic lasso tool doesn't always work uh, as you would hope and expect. Okay first of all uh, this is the object here that we want to uh, isolate it's a um, I believe it's called a cactus pear but you can correct me if I'm wrong on that. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the zoom tool down here and I'm going to uh, draw a box around that to zoom in on it so I have the best possible view of it for working with. All right. Now the magnetic lasso tool is third from the top. If you click and hold you'll get your uh, little icons here, the bottom one, magnetic lasso tool. Now, uh, any of the icons here, if you click and hold, if they have that little uh, arrow in the bottom right-hand corner, that shows that uh, you've got more selections to choose from. But we're happy right now with the magnetic lasso tool. And let me show you how that is used. So basically, um, it works best when you have a nice high contrast edge, right? Because it does work by contrast. You can adjust the uh, contrast value. Uh, up here, right, and uh, the frequency of uh, points that it creates here. Uh, let's be a bit more exact. We'll put this down to 20, and uh, I'll leave the contrast where it is. Okay, we don't want any feathering. Okay, this is where you would adjust to the parameters for the tool, and uh, let, let's let's begin by finding an edge to start on this was a very nice high contrast area so we'll click here and we'll just start following we're just clicking and holding and we're following along the edge and you see how Photoshop is laying down points as I follow along the edge okay about every 20 pixels is the rule that we told it right and we're just just stay stay as exact to the edge as you can as you're moving right and it will help photoshop to guide right and we came down here see i had to go down a wee bit there trimming off that tip. There's going to be some editing at the end of this. That tip there turned out fine. And a lot depends too on exactly uh, what resolution your final work is going to be at, right? So, see, you see, it's not doing so bad even here where there's very low contrast between the item and the shadow. If we follow along closely enough, you give Photoshop the hints that it needs to make... Now, all right, now here we are at the beginning. We're hovering over our initial point. You'll see the circle that appears in the lower right-hand corner of the cursor there showing that you're over that initial point and if we release at this point then we have our fine selection okay now we have a pretty good selection but there's a bit of fine tuning particularly right here I'd like this point uh, to be better defined and actually right up here at the very tip uh, that point as well uh, the points are part of the character of this thing and it would be nice to have them, right? So let's go down to our magnifying glass and we'll zoom in on this point right here, okay? And you can see that, uh, you know, the, the software missed this little section. So let's go to uh, the third tool down and instead of uh, click and hold, and instead of the magnetic lasso tool, let's choose the polygonal lasso tool. 
choose that and then what we want to do is we want to add to this selection so we're going to press the shift key and then if we start on the line here with one click right we get our you know the the polygonal lasso tool goes by you know point by point so that's the first point and we can swing this around until it's in the position we want which will be right about here and essentially we can follow around here our eye can do a better job and come back here now in this section because you're just adding it doesn't matter if you overlap we can click here to make sure we don't have to follow this line too closely right and then if we hover over that first point you get the little circle that shows you're going to close your selection we we'll click there and there we have much better definition on that point Now if we click on view, fit on screen, we can get uh, our overall view back. Click once again on the magnifying glass. We can zoom in on this tip so we can see more clearly what we want to define. All right, And once again we're going to click and choose our polygonal lasso tool. So having selected our polygonal lasso tool, once again we're going to shift click, right? Because we're adding a shift click on a, a good part of the edge here. And then we can follow up. Select that point until we're back onto a, another good edge. And then we can just basically overlap here close off by clicking where we started. Now we do have this little peak here that doesn't look like it belongs. So let's remove that but instead of shift clicking we're going to alt click. So we alt click on a good part of the edge and then we follow along the edge as we see it should be till we're on another good part and then once again you can just overlap the area right and then a little bit of back and forth there's see with the icon the cursor gets the little circle. I know I'm over that initial point. If I click, then I've trimmed that. And even here, actually, I can capture this bit of red. So we're going to go shift, click, and we'll follow up. We'll just get this fine-tuned points are nice features to keep on here. If, uh, if, like myself, you're having trouble finding that initial point, oh, there it is, but uh, you can always double-click, and that will close it off. All right? So now if we say View, Fit on Screen, go back to our magnifier, and zoom in, there's our uh, nice selection done mostly with the uh, magnetic lasso tool. Now if we say edit, copy, edit, paste, we'll create a new uh, item above. Basically we've pasted, right the, we've pasted it right on top of itself, right? And we can see that if we hide the background here, that's our isolated object. All right. So th that's uh, one way to isolate an object in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed the video tutorial. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take care.